Hello everyone, this is Nora and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is so exciting. I've been seeing all over my For You page the famous at home lash extension application and how they do it and I'm like, oh my god, I really want to try this out and I was so happy that go leave. The universe kind of listened to me for some reason because I got an email from Goalie asking me to try their at-home DIY lash extensions and I said yes and they sent me a couple of their amazing stuff to try and I do have their lashes on and I'm going to show you guys how I applied them on step by step. So before I go ahead and show you the video, if you're new here to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by and taking your time to watch my video. It really means a lot to me. And if you guys haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I would love to have you guys a part of the light family that I have here on my channel. So if you guys want to get your lashes on, please keep on watching. God, this look looks so weird without lashes and mascara but you know what I'm kind of living for it alrighty you guys let's go ahead and get started as you guys can see I already have my makeup on just so that you guys know that no sorry I did not film a makeup tutorial for this look honestly just to look that I was kind of you know what I want color and I just sat down and I kind of did something like this so if you guys do want a makeup tutorial let me know in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to do it for you guys so today is not about the eyeshadow but it is about the, the lashes so i do feel pretty naked without my lashes on nor mascara because i don't know really how these are gonna function do i put mascara before or do i just put it on my bare lashes so we are here to kind of experiment together so this is the company as i mentioned in the intro it's called goalie so before i go ahead and start off and trying these babies on thank you so much to goalie for contacting me and sending me some of their products to try i'm really really excited so i have style f17 and f3 i can tell right away that f3 does not have the glue like the f17 does and i do see in the f17 that there's gradual sizes as well it goes from really long medium to short and then um i kind of notice it here too but i feel in the f3 is a little bit more flare ish a little bit more wispy ish other than the f 17 they are kind of wispy but they are a little bit fuller but i will get into details and zoom on the lashes so you guys can get an idea they also sent me their uh, botanical lash shampoo this one right here i honestly haven't haven't opened it yet so i don't even know how the packaging looks like and this one has three plant extract base and it's formulated for hygiene cleansing of the lashes and they also do say to shake it well apply two one to two pumps of the lash shampoo on a brush and gently cleanse lashes from the roots to tip Rinse with water, pat the surrounding area of the eye with a towel, and let the lashes dry naturally. So I'm not sure if this is meant to remove the lashes, or maybe just clean the lashes. If that was the case, well, hey, <laughs> um, it's a bit too late for me to actually wash my lashes. But my lashes are clean, I did do my whole skincare this morning so my face is pretty cleansed and clean before all the makeup so we're just going to consider that but again like with the eyeshadow you know like i said if that's the case then i failed i do have a demonstration on here it shows me like how to use it so it does say to shake well and then apply it and then rinse it so let's actually i'm really curious about the packaging and see how this is how does it look like Oh, I was kind of considering, I'm like, oh, but I don't really have a brush. But in here, there is a brush. And the brush has a little style to it. I think it's kind of better to fit on the lashes like this. Very convenient, honestly. Very smart. I like this. And this is the shampoo. It does come pretty sealed. So I'm just going to cut it. Probably something that I would use when I want to remove my makeup. And if I want to remove the lashes. But yeah we'll see it kind of looks like a pump for me it is a pump and it looks like this so this is probably something that i'm gonna use when 
I want to remove the makeup so I guess I'll be filming a clip when I want to remove the makeup just to show you guys how this one works with the brush so I'm gonna set these aside for now because I won't be using them so yeah and now here are the lashes I am so excited so you guys could see them I'm just gonna give you guys a closer look so this is how they look like on the inside and we have the glue right here. I'm so excited, so let's dive in. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is the F17. I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up and see the glue. So there's a glue and there's also some tweezers. This is so cool. So the glue is pretty small. I don't know if there's instructions. Yes, there is in the back of it right here. So I'll be reading that before I do any mistakes. There's also these which i'm not really sure what those are i think these are probably to put under here to not get the glue anywhere i don't know but they're like little pads and let's see anything else no but you have the lashes look at them let me just remove this plastic thing so you guys don't get any light glims on there and i do see that um there's some long ones so you have the long ones, medium, slightly medium, and then the short. So these are pretty long and just touching them, they are pretty soft too. And yeah, and I also really like the band. I really like the band. I like how thin the band is. So that is really good. I like that. And um, the same band actually on the F3. So I'll just open the F3s and show you guys how they look like. Now the F3s does not come with the tweezer, the glue, nor the little pads. These are the F3s. Again, you have four lines. So you have long, medium, slight, medium, and then small. And I can feel like the band is actually tacky. That's how they are sitting on there. They don't really have names of the lashes. You know, sometimes they'll have a name of like semi-wispy or wispy or whatever. I guess these are just F3 and F17. So let's go ahead. I think I'm going to try the F17s. Even though the top ones, I feel like they're going to be really long. But we'll figure it out. So there's, there's actually six steps in here to follow so step one roughly clean your natural lashes and lid make sure they are no makeup and oil free well listen <laughs> we're just gonna skip step one <laughs> move on to step two step two use a lash curler to gently curl natural lashes before wearing the diy lashes so lucky you i do have a lash curler so let's go ahead and grab it so this is my lash curler this is from mfma my favorite favorite brand when it comes to lashes if you guys don't know mfma it's actually made for makeup artists but their lashes are not only for makeup artists they are for everybody and i will leave their link in the description box down below you can get their amazing amazing lash curler and some lashes and their glue is probably my best glue ever that i love using so much right here and it is latex free and you do have a discount code that you can use lbbynd10 to get 10 percent off your purchase and you can save some money so check out the description if you guys want the lash curler and look at the aesthetic of this like the matte black for me is literally everything so they do say to curl the lashes so let's go ahead and do that okay so let's curl the lashes instant lift you guys see that this lash curler you need to get your hand on it and it comes in a pretty nice pleather pouch like how bougie could you get so the lashes are curled step three shake the glue well before use pour one drop of glue onto a small plate piece of foil or glue sticker i don't have a foil next to me or should it really be a foil fine i'll go get one i got the piece of foil and it says to pour a little drop of the lash glue oh is this the sticker 
Maybe this is the sticker. Maybe this is the one that they wanted me to put the glue on. And there's also this thing in here that I guess that you can, oops, that you can use to punch a hole in the glue if you feel, wait, is this like, I'm not sure. Oh, okay, so you guys need to use this. Let me see, will this close? No. So you guys need to use this because it's kind of like a needle that you need to kind of open the glue with. So I did that. And then it says to put one drop of glue on the foil. So, oh, 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 okay. The, okay, the glue is pretty dark. You guys see this? The glue is pretty dark. So one tiny little drop. Step four says gently pick up a segment of DIY lash from the roots with the tweezer. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't know. Let me just see first. I'm just gonna grab, I'm just gonna take it from the roots, like they said, like from the top. And I just wanna see like how long are these if I'm gonna put it. Oh, not that bad actually, not out. I just poked myself in the eye. Not that bad. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, okay, I'm just gonna show you guys how I picked it up. I'm just gonna place it back on here. And I love the fact that the adhesive that's on is not super strong, because some of them, they are strong. So when you pull it up, you kind of rip off the little lash hairs. But I love the fact that this is not super strong. So I came with the tweezer and I literally just picked it up from the roots and it came off pretty quickly. So I like that. So I zoomed a little bit for you guys so we can go ahead and do this together now i want to see i normally see people using these extensions and putting them at the bottom of their lashes like right here instead of putting them on the top so i actually do feel like doing that but i'm not sure how strong the glue is and that if i'm gonna be getting some sort of a reaction or whatever we are here to try and see where things go step five dip the lash base into the glue and then we'll just go ahead and over the step six so like that we can just move forward step six place your natural lashes in the position of 0.3-1 mm from the lash line without touching the lid repeat to put more lashes for the desired look I'm not really good at math, so, so I'm not really sure what's 0.3-1 mm. I'm gonna take the lash and I'm gonna be dipping into the glue. Ooh, okay. And I don't know, do I wait till this gets tacky or whatever? Or I just go ahead and place it with no mascara. But since I took the long, long one, I'm going to be placing it in the middle. Oh. That was kind of easy actually. What the hell? Is it supposed to be that easy? And this is kind of like falling down. It would be better if I had actually put some mascara on. And this is how it looks like. I don't know, am I able to remove it and put mascara first? I think this is what's gonna work better. So, oh, okay. Yeah, I was able to remove it and that did not hurt. I put a little layer of mascara. Just to say, you know, that I actually, because I hate seeing the difference between lashes with no mascara and false lashes. I, I just don't like that. I, don't, I really don't like that look. Take two. Now we're going to, I'm going to take the lashes again, dipping them into the lash glue. And I'm going to go ahead and try to stick it from the bottom. And I'm going to be placing it in the middle. Oh, it's definitely better to put mascara before. I feel like it just it looks much better. And that was really easy, you guys. Like, what the hell? That was so easy. To be honest, I really like the effect from the placing them from like the bottom part rather than putting them on the top part. I want to create kind of like a wispy-ish kind of look. Try this again. So I'm taking another one. Can't really dip. I have a dip dip 
And I'm going to be placing this one on the outer corner. Oh, I actually don't know if I want a, another long one and maybe putting it here. So I guess instead of taking a long one, I'm going to take a medium one and trying that. So I'm pretty impressed by this, you guys. Like, wow, I'm having so much fun doing my lashes. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to take a little dip and putting it right there in the inner corners. Oh, okay. I... Mm -mm. It's a bit hard when you're doing this on your own, to be honest. That's why I'm not really a big fan of individual lashes on myself. I feel like I never get it right. Okay, I think I got a little bit of glue in my eye and it's burning me. No, oh, but the, it goes away pretty quickly. Oh, I like this. So there's one here, one in the middle, and one here. Now I'm just gonna go and put the small. I think I'm gonna go with the row number three and putting the two missing and if I need more then I'll just add a bit more so I'm taking a little bit more it's my first time trying these kind of um, at home DIY lash extensions and I have to say that your girl is not hating it. I actually do love it. And I love the fact that you can create your own kind of lash and it looks super nice. But look at the difference. So this is with the lashes and this is without the lashes. Looks super nice. And if you guys are wondering, they're not heavy at all on the eye and i feel like these lashes go so well with the look it kind of gives you like summery vibe kind of lash and i also kind of avoided to put any liner on top i really wanted the lashes to be the statement and so th so you guys could see them better now i'm just gonna take this tweezer and i have to say i really like the tweezer too it's so easy to work with and i'm just going to squeeze both lashes together my lashes and the fake ones it came out no oh maybe because i did not okay that's my fault i didn't put a lot of glue on this one i just kind of assumed that was gonna work out but it's fine, I'm just putting a little bit more. So see guys, I really thought that the long ones were gonna be too, too long, but they are great to put kind of like in separation. So I wish I kind of put the long one also here in the front, but that's okay. But honestly, it kind of gives you like a nice wispy-ish kind of look. Alrighty you guys, so this is how the lashes look like. I have to say that I am totally obsessed with them. I obsess the fact that you can create your own little style like i did i wanted to create kind of like a wispy kind of look and i feel like it did exactly that so let's go ahead and do the other eye and i'll be back to show you guys both eyes so let me know what you guys think this is the before and this is the after Ugh, i'm obsessed i love them so. so the lashes on the other eye are on and i have to say i really 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 do love the finish that they give they give you like a natural false lashes kind of look which i really like it feels like i went to the salon and got them done to be honest they are really really nice i will be adding a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes there you go it looks more completed Alrighty, you guys this is the finished look i have to say i love the goalie lashes i feel like they are amazing to have surprisingly they are super easy to work with it doesn't really require much to be honest and i also tried to kind of take them off without the shampoo and you can definitely do that too but i do recommend that if you do have them on with a full face of makeup i will be using the botanical lash shampoo when i'm removing this makeup so i'll include a little clip of it in the video okay you guys you know what time it is it's time to remove my makeup i actually do still have the lashes on and i have to say that they stayed on all day literally and i'm not sure oh 
Well, I guess I can take them off like this. Uh, maybe they are savable. Some of them could be like reusable. But yeah, so they're coming off pretty easily too. So I don't really know. Save them and reuse them. Is there another one? This is, oh, okay. This is happening because I can reuse these lashes because I have to say I really like them. Oh, the last one is really stuck on there. It hurts. The last one ripped out four of my lashes. Let's go ahead and remove the makeup and then I'll show you guys how to use this. Okay, so the makeup is off. Obviously, I will be cleansing, but before I go ahead and do that, I'm just gonna use the lash shampoo. What I found really impressive is that I don't have any glue residue on my lashes, which is something I really like. I have to say I really like that because I hate glue residue on the lashes. I hate it. And this glue does not leave any residue, so hmm. I guess I'm gonna put some on Ooh, foamy Me likey and then I'm just gonna go Clean the eye make sure that it doesn't uh, Didn't really think about that did I keep your eyes shut I'm gonna do one eye at the time I guess So clean I mean, it's not lathering or anything like that is it supposed to lather? I just accidentally opened my eye and it's not tingling, it's not hurting so let me just do the other eye I'm just gonna have some more this is so weird so I'm just gonna run it through the eye hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing I'm gonna wash my eyes hmm cleanse my face I'm using Hey Bud face cleanser this has been I'm gonna go ahead and clean the rest of my face. Nice and clean. Overall, this is the review. Honestly, I've been looking forward to trying the at-home lash extensions, the viral TikTok videos that I've been seeing all over my For You page. And I'm really happy to be trying it out and giving you guys my opinion and what I think about it. I love the fact that the glue comes with it. So if you are looking into purchasing them, Please purchase the just the full kit like that. You literally have everything in here. And also the lash shampoo is quite important to have just to clean your lashes because yes, we do cleanse. Yes, we do clean. But the lashes, I feel like is the, the more finicky space and like sometimes some makeup, some mascara, some lighter residue stays on the lashes so it's important to have the shampoo to clean it all off i will leave all the information and details down below in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and purchase the goalie lash extensions i will leave everything that you need to know about them in the description box down below please check it out and happy shopping on that note i really hope you guys enjoyed this review found it helpful found the application of these lashes a bit easier yes i did do it a little bit different if you have any questions or concerns just leave them all in the comments down below and i'll try my best to answer each and one of you guys i love you guys so much and i see you in the next video bye